to this special arcade flat pack edition what you can see here is uh, our new prototype for a mini MK arcade machine so it's inspired by Mortal Kombat so I'm going to take you through the prototyping process as you can see here we have the flat sheet for the machine laid out first of all on CAD and you can see each of the components there the next step is to take that through to our CAM package and create our G codes and M codes to run our CNC machine so we'll do that next after exporting a DXF file we are now in our CAM package so now the procedure really is to select our cutters and to go around each cutout and external cutout and internal cutouts as well and program the CAM package with what speed and what size tool that will then generate the M and G codes for the machine and then the next step will be to take that uh, program that's generated through to our CNC machine and start the manufacturing process this uh, will take at least a minute or two I'll get back to you okay so we're back uh, finished the CAM process just about to run it through to show what it's going to look like so here we can simulate the actual machining I'll just speed it up a bit and you can see the path it's going to take you can see the emerging design now you can see the cut path so that should be the exact same path our cutter is going to take so the next stage is to offload that onto a USB and then off to the CNC machine see you in a minute so we've transferred our files you can see in there the CNC program we have our cutter set at 10 millimeters above the material you can see we've got our material loaded up on the machine on machine one you can also see the cutter there as well is just above the work it'll uh, set its own level in a minute so the next thing is to switch on the cutter so it will get noisy and start our machining process we can now see the machine start to move We'll return in a short while to look at its progress and see how design comes to life. So we're 25 minutes in. You can see that some of the cutouts are now taking shape. Quite noisy in here, so I'm probably going to go and have myself a cup of tea. Join us in a short while when we come back and look at our progress. So we're now back at 50 minutes 17. You see things are starting to uh, take shape a little bit. You see many of the holes cut out. You can also see the rear panel taking shape and the handle holes. We've got some more slots coming out there. Okay, we'll come back and take a look a little bit later on. Okay, so we're now at 1 hour 17 minutes and 54 seconds. You can see things are definitely beginning to take shape. A few more items still to cut over this side. But we're definitely well on the way. This is the rear door. See one of the bezel panels, control panel, and the two sides. And now, cut. 
We'll check back a little later. Okay, so the machine's now stopped. You can see we have all our panels now cut. So now it's time to remove the panels, give them a quick sand to make sure there's no rough edges left, and then we're on to the assembly stage. Okay, so machining's finished, we've got all the parts, and here you can see the finished and assembled MK edition of the mini arcade cabinet. We can also see there, this is a deluxe edition, so this has actually got a clear marquee panel at the top, ready for his marquee to be applied. This one's actually a gift for Ian from Urban Arcade. Check out his YouTube channel for more Mortal Kombat related items. Um, let's just take a side view as well. You can see there, finished. For more information, subscribe to the channel, leave me a message, or find me on eBay, arcade underscore flat pack, for purchase information. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this making of video.